Alright everyone, it is Dokkan time again, and today's how to build is going to be for the newly easy aid Dark King, Meki Kabuda. So, and yes, that is his name, Meki Kabuda. Um, you, you can call him whatever you want, I just call him Meki Bora. But anyways, so, um, I would have to say, this is probably the best arguably the best easy a out of the bunch thus far in this hero celebration this final hero celebration by the way um so i guess as a big disclaimer as well um if you were watching this after november of 2024 unfortunately uh heroes has ended uh, literally the ip of it has literally ceased it is discontinuing and so so basically uh the heroes units in dokkan uh, this will be the last run of them. They will no longer be in the summon pool. They will no be long. There will no longer be an event for them. They will be collection pieces. So if they're good now, then they're only basically probably going to be good now. Uh, but yeah, anyways. So um, I do like Dark Mickey King Burra. Uh, let's just kind of get into his uh, his kit and then his defense um, and then his roll tips. This is one of the few heroes I will give a roll tips. So. Um, so he does have a couple 200% options. He does have Zamasu, Lord Slug, and then of course other heroes. Um, and I think that's where I about cut it off. I, I would say Kit, uh, Fat Boo could be an option, but I think to maximize the usage of uh, Mekibura in his links and his kit, I would definitely say Zamasu and... Uh, Lord Slug would be the best leaders to really be running with him. Even more so... Even more so than a hero's team, almost. Yeah, for sure. Uh, this will probably change based on the next, uh, you know, extreme heroes units that come out next week on November 11th. So, going into his kit, he does have a 150% crossover lead. Uh, he greatly stacks attack and then greatly raises defense for one turn. Um, and he lowers attack and defense of the enemy. Um, he does have key plus one attack and defense 200 plus another attack and defense 100 when forming a super. He randomly changes key spheres to um, rainbow key spheres. He also has plus an additional attack and defense plus 25% per key sphere obtained. So yes, that does mean that he is a nuker technically. Um, plus an additional attack and defense 100 when two or more AGL key spheres are obtained. Plus an additional attack and def uh, attack plus 100% when two or more STR or physical key spheres are obtained. Plus an additional defense of 100% with two or more tech or intelligence key spheres obtained. So basically, the most optimal thing to do would be to go for AGL key spheres so you can get both the attack and defense. Um, obviously, if you want to get more damage out, if you don't have the option of AGL key spheres, then you want SDR physical. And then if you want the 100% defense, then you'll want the tech or intelligence key spheres if you cannot get the AGL key spheres. Uh, but priority should be on rainbow key spheres as... Recovers 10% HP and reduces damage received by 10% per rainbow key sphere obtained. That, I'm going to tell y'all, this is, <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. Y'all don't even understand how crazy this is. This is actually nutty because this means <laughs> if you collect four rainbow key spheres, you recover 40% of your HP. That's almost half your HP just right off the get-go this dude's a healer <laughs> he is straight up a healer um and then the damage for, uh, reduction for 10 percent is pretty nutty um i will say though unfortunately you know as orb drops and you want to prioritize the amount of orbs more than anything you probably will be averaging two to three uh rainbow key spheres it's very unlikely that you'll be hitting four on the regular um just assume you'll be grabbing two or three so 20 to 30 percent damage reduction which is still good um, then we have launches an additional super attack with two or more rainbow key spheres obtained. So basically you always need to go for two rainbow key spheres to get at least the 20% damage reduction total. Um, he does have some funky links. Um, and this is part of the reason why, um, it's kind of weird to utilize him in certain, um, scenarios and so forth. Um, you know, Brainiacs, Revival, Master of Magic, Godly Power, Big Bad Bosses, Fear and Faith, Shattering Limit... He has a very unique set of link skills that not necessarily many units are going to share with him. I think more than likely a majority of the time, especially on extreme teams, 
you're mostly going to be rocking big bad bosses, uh, revival and fear and faith. It's the Brainiacs, Godly Power, and Master of Magic links that all are going to be very random. If like if you, I mean, Master of Magic is pretty much a very select few of heroes units in particularly, um, and that's about it. Otherwise, Masters of Magic is a very um, how do I put this? A lackluster um, link. It's not very one. It's not one that you're going to be utilizing very often. You do have a couple fat boos in here that will utilize it, but not even not even the intelligence fat boo uh, has this. Um, let's see here. Which fat boo was it? Oh yeah, the Mister Fat Boo has it. So that's that's something to note considering he is on the intelligence fat boos team. Uh, but you know, um, fat boo does not have. Um, big bad bosses and I think that's the primary thing you really do need to consider is that you just need to get big bad bosses first and foremost I would say the next thing you should shoot for is godly power um, the extra 15% attack uh, mixed with more crit goes a pretty long way and it's why I, th I think on Zamasu's team he actually does fit pretty well um, a lot of godly power units um, some fear a lot of fear and faith big bad bosses um, he shares quite a few links with them um, normally, I would would have suggested this guy as his best link partner, but unfortunately, he is just not good enough. This is actually Demigra, um, in one of in some weird form, um, but he's just not good enough. Unfortunately, I wish he was. He he doesn't stack or anything. He has pretty low stats in his passive. He's a dodge or die uh, support unit basically, um, and he was kind of built more so to be going into fights with like the ability to lower damage reduction and so forth um so that is also something to keep in mind but he is technically his best link partner um i will say if you had this guy linked together with him the whole time you could be seeing uh, mechibura hitting 30 million attack stats by turn five uh this guy is nutty and it all depends on his links um probably the most viable partner you're gonna have is this foo right here uh, the Dark King Fu, which is, should also be um, potentially on the banner for next week uh, at the time of recording. So he has Praniacs, Big Bad Bosses, Godly Power, and Fear and Faith. And not to mention that uh, Fu is also a support unit. So that is basically his best partner right there. And they both can be utilized. You just have to have very specific teams to be running with that. Um, but yeah... So, with all that in mind, let me go ahead and go grab uh, stats from Halberd. Alright, and we got the stats for the defense on, uh, with thanks compliments, Halberd. Uh, so, his his defense is pretty decent. It is very RNG-reliant. Um, as far as the third additional goes, as you know, that he does get a free additional going off. So, um, without support, you know, it's not, it's not looking too good, but... Start of turn defense 220k, um, defense post super 660, double super 880, and then with a, a hidden potential proc 1 million defense with no support. Um, if you manage to grab um, six AGL tech or intelligence key spheres, as those are the ones that give you 100% defense, you can have a start of turn defense of 400k. I have actually seen his start of turn defense at the 500 plus range. Um, on Slug's team because of the domain and then with supports. Uh, so that is a potential possibility to go even higher. Um, oh, super 1.2 million with those six AGO key spheres. Uh, double super 1.6 million. And then with a triple super, 2 million. With the 40% support, um, he's saying 433, 1.2, 1.7, 2.1. Um, I don't think this is his max possible defense. I think this is on an average scenario of only a 40% support. Um, without considering domains and so forth. Um, he is 200% on Slug's team. Slug has an extra 15% increase with the domain. You do have access to throwing Dark Fu onto the team, which can give 50% plus support. Um, and then you have other support units that are on the team that could be utilized. So um, I think you can see his de max possible defense. Like if you really did the math, you could probably get close to 2.5 million. I think this is just like your bare minimum lower end of defense. Um, it this is also on the rainbow. I'm pretty sure he's he's taken into consideration of rainbow. Yeah, with Dark King Fu. Um, oddly enough, I don't think he's taking into consideration of Dark King Fu's actual support itself, um, mixed along with the domain. So there's that to take into consideration. 
Uh, but his defense is pretty good. I like his defense numbers um, mixed with the damage reduction. Keep that in mind, you know. If you manage to get three or four key spheres, you got 30-40% damage reduction along with 2 million defense. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, guys. That's pretty good for a Dragon Ball Heroes unit. That's pretty uh, fan-freaking-tastic. I'm, I'm going to tell you what. Um, but let's go ahead and go take a look at his... Um, let's go take a look at his... Uh, Blah words. His roll tips. I apologize. So, um, his roll tips are as follows. Um, I technically classify uh, Mechibora as a supportive unit. I don't classify him as a tank because he's not a perfect tank. He is a he tanks decently well. He does have good defensive ability, but I don't consider him a tank. Um, he does have an absurdly good damage, and that is what I was ha having a hard time, like, really choosing, was if he was a damage dealer, or if he was, um, you know, a supportive type unit, because the thing with the support ability, and for me, it's support is a utility based. Support is utility, it's not just literally giving, a you know, increase to attack and defense or whatever, um, it's also healing, it's orb changing, it's utilities, um, you know, it's it's all these different things. And what he does is he orb changes, he heals, and then he tanks. And all of that mixed together with also doing a decent good amount of damage, depending on who you're running with him. He can be a solid supportive unit to the entire team in just about every aspect. He can do damage. He can tank decently well. He can heal. He <laughs> The only thing he literally doesn't do is literally support it like key and attack and defense that's the only thing he doesn't do so um i like him a lot i do i, I like dark mickey king burra um he's a, he's a fun fantastic unit if you've been keeping up with uh dragon ball daima then you know we you know we're gonna get more demonic power units and that what is what he is um i'll go through a real quick rundown of his builds right now um i do highly suggest you just if you are so unlucky that you only get him at 55 percent, i apologize um, I would just suggest giving him the crit because with all with the fact that he is technically a nuker, I would just say give him the level five uh, silver uh, rainbow and then level um, two bronze crit. You know, it just just give him the level seven. That's a fourteen percent chance to crit. You know, if you're really desperate for a nuker for heroes and AGL nuker, he could still do pretty decently. Um, so there is that, and that is the only thing his kit is also missing is critical. That's the only thing his kit is missing. Is no critical. Um, as far as the basis for his kit, once you have dupes, um, I do suggest giving crit. Once again, uh, crit is what I'm gonna focus up more on because he already has a built-in additional. Um, the hidden potential proc is nice, but I I don't want to lean on it. So um, I would just go ahead and focus on the minimum of your hidden potential going to 15 for crit. And then putting the remainder 6 into more additional. He is an AGL type, so he already starts at level 5 additional. And then for the equipment, I would suggest for a Bronze Orb um, HP. Remember, Heroes units have lower stats than a majority of other units released in the game. And they do this to um, because they usually when the banners are out, they have higher drop rates. So it's more easier to technically acquire these characters, so they don't make them as strong. Um... Ironic too. <laughs> Ironic too. If you ever read the anime or manga or play the game, the arcade system, uh, these characters are broken as heck. Uh, technically, this Dark Mechi King Burra is easily on God, like Super Saiyan God level. I mean, he's pretty, he's pretty uh, strong. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> um, Silver, you know, I would still once again go for crit, and then for a level five, I would suggest either going giving him more crit or giving him another additional. Um, either or, or if you're willing to be giving away such a expensive orb uh, but always use the infinite equips if you want you know change it up see how you feel before you really invest all this you know um i would honestly what i like to do sometimes if i don't know what i want to do with the unit and i do have uh, two dupes access what i like to do is i like to pump the gold silver and bronze with whatever i feel the unit is missing and seeing if it helps and if it does help then i'll kind of commit and adjust so um, another alternative build that you can go with is um, you can kind of go between 
giving him more additional to hope that he gets more defense on super um and then put the rest into crit that is also another valid option i would understand the only thing is is like you got to understand if you don't give this guy crit he's greatly stacking attack if he's not critting he's not doing any damage you got to give him some crit you got to give him some crit um i would say dodge is valid um a level three dodge you know you can do for funsies of course but I don't think Dodge is going to save this guy in a super scenario. If he's going to take a 3 million super, he either did enough additionals and grabbed enough orbs to tank it, or he um, didn't, and you're just dead anyways. <laughs> you know, um, I would rather put my chips in the additional than I would um, the Dodge, because the Dodge is a, such a low chance that I'm just not willing to put my bets into it. By all means, you can decide to get, go for a weird mixture, you can go ahead and choose to give him more. Uh, you can decide to give him crit and then put the rest into additional. That is an option as well. Um, but I just don't feel like it really focuses on what he's good at. And at the end of the day, if he does kind of cycle out of the meta, then obviously you're just going to want to use him for what he's good at, not for trying to just barely survive going forward. So, But anyways, guys, let me know what you're going to how you're going to build dark Me king mechie Borda, and uh what teams are you going to try out with him because he's not restricted to heroes he is not restricted to heroes he does good on heroes but he's not restricted to it so anyways thank you for watching have a good day and a good night